Hey guys, Nightcrawler here with Debt to Work Cosmetics. Um, this is going to be an informative video. And I'm not going to be doing a tutorial, no makeup involved. Brushes involved. Face. <coughs> la, la, la. Face. I can't say face. Face. Face brushes. Um, now before I knew a thing about makeup, this is my baby. It's dirty, it needs to be washed. This is the MAC 150. This brush is like $50. Um, I gave birth to him, and I love him. No. Um, yeah, this is what I use on my face for my um, powder. I used to use it for my blush, but then I started getting more and more into makeup, so I needed a good powder brush, and I used this as my powder brush. This guy is a low Cornell brush. Now, he got a little messed up in my kit. <laughs> but, obviously, it's not he. I'm going to stop calling it he. Um, obviously, it's not packed as tight as this one. But, when you're using it for a powder, um, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. Is it very, very soft, this brush? No. Is it something that I use in a, you know, if I don't have something that I really need right next to me, yes, I'll use it and I'll dust my powder on with it. I use it a lot for um, special effects makeup. Um, blush brushes and contour brushes, um, I only have, oh, I only have uh, paint brushes. This is my favorite blush brush in the whole entire world. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's the XL Low Cornell 278. It's like $10. But it's fantastic for, especially where I wear my makeup, my blush. I wear my blush up here. I don't do the cheek apple thing. This is my contour brush. I don't use an angled brush. Um like that. And this is just another blush brush that I use. This was ten dollars. These were like two forty nine. These were like the these were like the really cheap section. Um are they the softest brushes I've ever felt? No. Um are they soft? Yes. Um I love them. These are my favorite brushes. These are my favorite blush brushes. So yeah. Okay. Now um this is what do they call it? The elf powder brush. This is three dollars from Elf. Um, I like this brush. Um, this is good for mineral makeup. I don't have any mineral makeup though. Um, and bronzers. Usually the flat brushes are good for bronzers. I um, I use use this for powder usually. Um, and when I try out any sort of other makeup, like a mineral. I don't own any mineral makeup so right now. I had tried Elf and I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah, so it's good for buffing on makeup. Anything like that. <laughs> Gives like a nice smooth finish. Okay, foundation brushes. Anyone that has ever watched any of my videos, I sometimes joke about what I use for my foundation. Um, I am 100% NC35 Studio 6 Fluid SPF 15 from MAC. Um, and I am a stipple brush user, believer, love it. Um, now the MAC stipple brush, this is this is the special edition one. Um, I'm not sure how much it is. I want to say it's like in the 40s, it's something ridiculous. Um, the 187. This is the 187 SE, so it's not as long. This is from Target. From the Studio Tools, I think it's what it's called. This brush is only 699 or 799. I think it's 699, and it's the exact same thing. It has those duo fibers that this brush has, and I mean it's packed a little tighter than this brush. But you know what? When it comes to stippling, I actually like this one better because it has that effect that this one doesn't have. You get more coverage with this brush than this brush. Although I use them equally. Um, I'm not one that uses those flat paint brushes. Those are for more like um, full coverage 
cream foundation. I'm not a full coverage type of girl. And yeah, that's it. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on brushes. Even eyeshadow brushes, I constantly pick up little crappy ones just for the hay of it because ooh, because these are good for inner corner work, you know, a uh, little detailed work. Um, I also, although when I do makeup on someone else, I don't obviously use my fingers, but um, for concealer. Uh, there are many a brushes. This one's really dirty. I have no idea this one's clean. This is from blue all over it. The MAC um, 194. Um, I actually like that for concealer, but e.l.f. makes a concealer brush, which is very nice as well. Uh, right here, it's just the e.l.f. concealer brush. Um, and it's just really long um, synthetic fibers for um, concealer. You need long fibers, not short stubbly fibers. Um, yeah, and there's all sorts of other little brushes, like little detail brushes. Those don't have to be anything special whatsoever. And Michael's or your local um, craft store is packed with them, I'm sure, believe me. Um, you can get tons and tons and tons of brushes. If you're, like, you know, a teenager, or if you're on a budget, anything, you just don't want to spend a lot of money on brushes, I mean, if you really look at it, you can spend, like, 600 or more on brushes at MAC, I'm sure. And that's just ridiculous. Me, personally. I can't afford to do that. Um, yeah. So... Get yourself some good cheap brushes. Low Cornell is a really good brand 